I dropped out in the fourth grade to run drugs to support my nano. That means you haven't known the triumphs and defeats, the epic highs and lows of high school football. Welcome back everyone. So recently there's been this influx of videos all across my YouTube homepage that are all about how just atrociously bad the writing on the TV show Riverdale is. Um, if you haven't heard of Riverdale, it's basically just a copy of Archie Comics and there's really not much more to say about it than that. So I watched some of these videos, you know, just for research purposes, and I found that basically the writing is just as bad as everyone says it is, uh, if not worse. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. Okay. Which led me to wonder, is it possible that a computer could literally do a better job of writing the show Riverdale than the actual show's writers do? So, me being me, I, I couldn't let that theory go untested, and that is what we're going to check out today. Now, I really don't have that much of an idea about how I'm actually gonna go about doing this, but I did learn something in one of my classes last semester that might give me a starting point of how I'm gonna make this happen. So in machine learning, there's something that's commonly known as style transfer. Now, what style transfer is, is it's basically an algorithm that looks for the most relevant, I guess, features or patterns um, in a photograph or a piece of art, and then it basically translates or overlays those unique patterns onto another piece of art or another photograph. Now, I've only ever seen this done for art or for photographs, but but I want to see if it's possible to use this with writing, like if you can analyze someone's writing style and, and the way that they form their sentences and then recreate entirely new text just based off of a bit of a writing sample. So I am going to go ahead and have a look on goodoldgoogle.com and see if we can't find a way to make this thing called style transfer work for text. All right, so I found this Medium article called How to Write with Artificial Intelligence, an easy guide to deep writing without writing any code. The first sentence is, in the past few days, I've taught a machine learning algorithm how to write in the style of Harry Potter, Hamilton the Musical, and HBO Silicon Valley. So hopefully enough, they provided like a simple understanding, I guess, of like how this actually works. So here it says, step one, you show a computer some sample text, for example, the Harry Potter books, or in our case, the Riverdale scripts. Uh, step two, the computer identifies all the unique words in the sample text. Step three, the computer groups words based on how often they appear together in the sample text. And it makes guesses along the way of what the next word was is going to be based on what the previous words were. So this looks like exactly what we want actually. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting this up and we'll see what happens. All right, so it looks like we're at the part where I actually need to input the data that the neural network's gonna learn off of. So in this case, I basically just need to go grab like 15 episodes worth of Riverdale scripts, plop them in a text file, and then the neural network is going to train itself on the intricacies of how the Riverdale characters actually speak or how they're written by the writers. And then we can get to the fun part where it spits back out what it thinks the most accurate version of the text should be. So I was a little worried that I wasn't actually gonna be able to find like transcripts of Riverdale shows, like full ones on the internet. But lucky for me, here's a website where literally every single episode of Riverdale that's ever aired has been transcribed and put on this website. And God, do I feel bad for whatever poor soul had to do this for their job. <laughs> God, this is so boring. The things I do for the internet, I swear. All right, so I just went and dug through way too many episodes of Riverdale transcripts and I put them into the training file. And now, according to the Medium article, this is when I need to actually train the model on the data that I've inputted. I'm really hoping this doesn't take as long as I think it's going to because I don't want to be here forever, but um, fingers crossed, we're just going to go ahead and do this and see what happens. Oh my god, go banana. Oh, sh no, don't hit the mic. So that took just as long as I feared it would take. 
But the good news is now our model's all trained and we're ready to sample some words. So looking at step five here in the Medium article, it recommends changing the default value of the number of words you want it to actually print uh, to somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000. So I'm gonna go with 1,500, like it says down here, and we are going to print 1,500 beautifully crafted words that our neural network thinks the writers of Riverdale would say. So let's try it out and hope for the best. So thankfully, it looks like what the Medium article told us to do actually worked, uh, kind of. So as you can see here, the first sentence that our algorithm has printed out is, nothing's age and us, your dad, is come off to catch that. Which, I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound a lot like English to me. So my theory is that we just didn't train our model on enough data. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is basically just put <laughs> even more Riverdale episode transcripts into our input text file uh, where the model's actually trained from. Then I'm going to retrain the model with about double the number of words and see if we can't get some better performance from this thing. A few moments later. All right, and second training session done. So it is time to resample another 1500 words from this hopefully better trained model of what the actual writers of Riverdale would actually say. So on first glance, this attempt looks a little bit better. I'm noticing some kind of partially complete sentences like here, and she said, I couldn't stop your, but then it says farm try, and obviously that doesn't make any sense. One thing that I think is potentially messing this up is you can see here, you've got these tags like sweet clatters. I don't know what that means, but it looks like these bracket tags here are what the transcripts use to signify both who's speaking and if there's any sound effects, like if someone's shouting or something falls to the ground, they'll use these bracket tags to signify that that's what's happening. Unfortunately for us though, I don't think our neural network can actually tell the difference between uh, words that are in these bracketed tags and words that are not in the bracketed tags. So they're trying to incorporate them in the middle of sentences and obviously that doesn't make a lot of sense. So one thing that I'm gonna try is I wanna run our input text through something that can remove all these tags that are messing with the neural network. All right, awesome. So after a bunch of annoying debugging, I finally got it to work. So it basically read in what I had previously as the training uh, data, and then it output it into this new file here, which you can hopefully see has none of the tags. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after a few hours of extremely annoying debugging and waiting for our model to train three separate times, we have our final results. <laughs> So it's obviously still not perfect, as you can probably see, but what I've gone and done is I've picked out a few of just just the best of the best, the cream of the crop sentences that this algorithm output uh, that are supposed to have been written or said by Riverdale characters. Um, and I'm gonna leave it up to you all, the audience, to decide whether or not this machine learning algorithm can write Riverdale episodes better than the actual writers. So without further ado, here we go. Archie, you're not in the kink couple. Sorry to ascend, but uh, I want you to stall. You and us, Betty. How? As a bromance, I believe you like that. <laughs> he needs to shoot her up, leaving her in a whack-a-mole. I'm certain that my drug of tomorrow will make a well-cooked All-American. They brought her just in time for daddy. But I thought a serpent might fall into bed, Jughead. Don't chat at the evil hotline. Well, I'll see about your daddy, Archie. <laughs> So, in conclusion, can an algorithm write a better script to the show Riverdale than the actual writers can? Well, no. But is machine learning powerful enough to, in the near future, be able to recreate people's writing styles? I think it is. All in all, at this stage in its development, this kind of style transfer is more so just kind of a fun experiment than anything else. But overall, I learned a lot from doing this and I hope you all did too. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna join the Internet Explorer family, you can do so by clicking subscribe right down there. So best of luck on all your cyberspace adventures and until next time, peace out.